Today on the channel from Thor Love and Thunder, we've got Marvel Legends King Valkyrie and Gore. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Marvel Legends unboxing and review. And today, from the Thor Love and Thunder movie wave, we've got King Valkyrie and we've got Gore. But remember, for all your Marvel Legends needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description below. But today, Gore, King Valkyrie, one we've had before, one we have not. And I'm not familiar with Gore at all. I'm a familiar with Guar, the heavy metal band, of course. I'm familiar with Gorgor from Guar, but I don't think this relates to that, unfortunately. This is Gore. It is Christian Bale, villain in the movie, Thor movie upcoming here. I'm not familiar with the comic book character of Gore either, uh, but apparently he's one bad dude, so that's why he's in this line. Uh, it'll be interesting. I don't really know a lot about him, but we can look at the figure and know, and then once we see the movie, guess what? We'll know a heck of a lot more about him. And of course, we're going to do these unboxings like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there, so let's kick it off with Gore. Might as well. Actually, I'm going to run that back. We always do ladies first. That's what my daughters told me. Kyle, dad, actually, they said dad. They didn't call me Kyle. Uh, but they said, you got to do ladies first. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do old King Valkyrie here. Uh, somewhere along the way, she became king. So good for her. She's not going to be a queen for anybody. She's going to be the king. Uh, but there it is, King Valkyrie. Now, we've seen the Valkyrie before. We saw her in, what, a two-pack with Thor? And then was it the Infinity War set, I believe? And we'll compare it to that one. Uh, we got that a few years back as well. But now we get a different one. Instead of an all-white costume, we got some black going on. We got Korg build a figure pieces. We got her weapon. We got the Love and Thunder right there. King Valkyrie. We got the Thor logo at the top. Marvel Legends. Build a figure Korg. What's the age? Four and up. Both of my kids, you're in luck. You can play with this toy if you need to. And we got her on the side, a little glamour shot action. Another little glamour shot action right there. And then, of course, back of the packaging, cross-sell, building Korg. At the end of the week, of course, we're going to review each of these, do a couple different unboxing videos, and then we're going to do a big video at the end where we build Korg, and then we compare the whole wave, and we rank them from my least favorite to my favorite. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't want to miss that one. Uh, then you got warnings, UPCs on the bottom, all that fun stuff. Let's read the back, though, and see what it says about old King Valkyrie. When a dangerous new visitor threatens the livelihood of new Asgard, King Valkyrie is forced to take up her sword once more to defend her people. And that's what a good king does. A king defends their people. They don't just hang out. They don't just hang out with that court jester and eat food all day. No, no, they defend their people. They got to lead by example like any great leader would. Uh, background there, nice color. I like the colorful background on these. Very just 80s heavy metal kind of feel vibe to it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. See you later. Goodbye, King Valkyrie. And all right, we're getting down to action here. And this actually doesn't look too bad. There it is. Plastic prison. Let's knock these weapons out. There's Korg's, I don't even know what you call it. Battle, battle stick, battle club, uh, whatever. Pull her out. No twist ties, nothing uh, locked in on these. See you later, uh, as you guys are fully aware as I undo this. But we got the Korg head, we got the Korg weapon. Put these off to the side. Like I said, at the end of the week, we're going to build Korg, compare it to the old Korg. We're going to rank the entire wave, so subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss it. Then we get her mighty sword, the Valkyrie, Valkyrie, Valkyrie sword. I uh, got the little circle on the end, nice white sculpted handle, kind of got some wings there, and then you get to the blade, a bluish tint to the silver on the blade. Uh, very small, but she is a smaller female figure, so it does work for her. She can't have something really huge, obviously, uh, but we do have that going there. And we get down to old Valkyrie here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Pinless joints, double jointed. Couldn't ask for much more. Hasbro, good job there. I really do like the skin tone on this one as well. Uh, nice, uh, kind of a caramelish color. Uh, nice tan to it. Uh, this looks really good. And we've talked in other reviews about how sometimes the faces look a little too cartoony. Beautiful face on this one. I think this one nailed it. I think nailed the actress. Not familiar with the actress's name, uh, but definitely nailed the look on her. I do like the black and white outfit. A nice slick feel to the plastic on this one, but the black and white is beautiful. Uh, no paint application issues, which black and white, as we know historically in action figures, you get a lot of bleed over, you get a lot of mistakes. It's bound to happen with those two colors. 
very, very clean application here. Got the nice silver buttons throughout, uh, kind of the silver guard right there at her crotch. Uh, looking good. We do have a knife on her side. It is not removable, unfortunately. We do have a knife sculpted in down here. A little holster action. She does have the high heel, not quite high heels, but the high heel female boots. Uh, that is reuse. We've seen that in her other figures in the past. Uh, but I do really do like the double jointed knees, double jointed elbows, pinless knees on this one as well as double jointed. Uh, a lot to like about this. You get the thigh cut, uh, you get the ankle rocker, you get the bicep swivel, you get the hands. No extra hands with this pack, which is interesting, but a lot of good movement out of the wrists and hands here. Uh, like I said, beautiful head sculpt on this one. I love uh, the braids throughout. Nice sculpting. You got some nice blue in there to really uh, break up the monotony of the all black color. Really, really good. Sharp eye color on this one as well. Uh, no mismatched eyes. No miss there. Looks very, very good. Very strong figure. Does she fit on the ringside collectible stand? I'm sure she will if I can line it up. Come on. Jeez. Uh, she might not. Nope. She is not going to fit. She has too small of peg holes, so she will not fit on one of those stands. But a very, very solid. I forgot to mention the cape. The cape is not removable, but it's a nice blue color. Blue looks really good. It's my favorite color. I got a motorhead shirt on, too. Uh, blue motorhead shirt. Uh, but very good color blue, and it really looks good against this black, white, and silver that we have going on right here. Somewhere I have her other figure oh, right in front of my face. That's where it is. Uh, we've got a different version. Very telling. You know it's the same character, but it's an updated one. This is what she looks like now as King. Very, very good. I like it. I think there's enough meat on the bone. There's enough difference here to get this where I know some people are saying Star-Lord. I don't need another Star-Lord. Groot, don't need another Groot. Korg, the build figure, don't need another one. I guess you could say the same about Valkyrie. If you have a couple of other ones from the past, maybe you don't need this one. But this one looks different enough, especially with the hair, the color combination, the cape. There's enough difference here for me to pick this one up. Maybe you as well, but I like this one. I like this actually better than I thought I would out of the package. That is always a good thing. Uh, and I like the old version just as much. This is my favorite one until this one came along, stole my heart like a young Rio. If you know Rio, you know Rio. But there she is right there. We'll stick her leaning with her cape for now. But now we turn our attention to Gore. And like I said, outside of Guar and Gorgor, I don't know anything about Gore. But apparently he is a big, tough dude that's probably going to take over Asgard, I'm sure. And that's going to usher in Thor to come back to his old ways. All that fun stuff. I mean, the movie writes itself at this point, uh, like most do. Some might say, Kyle, you know, you're a minor away from film. Finish up that film. Uh, degree. Maybe I will. Maybe one of these days when I retire, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Because uh, I can write these movies myself. I don't even need to see them. I just know I can just do my head and do the math and I can figure it out. But we got Gore in there. It looks like he comes with a Korg build a figure piece as well. Comes with a big sword. Comes with himself. He looks like uh, Zordon from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is what he looks like. He looks like when Zordon was like dying in the Power Ranger movie. Old Ivan Ooze. Ooh, you Ivan Ooze. Look what you did. But that's what he looks like. Zordon. So you Hasbro collectors of the Power, Light, Power Ranger Lightning Collection. Man, you got a Zordon. You got a two-in-one figure right here. Get your Zordon figure. You got Christian Bale right there. You can see it in his eyes. Uh, quite the versatile actor, of course, Christian Bale. One day he's Batman. One, he, one day he's Gore. And I think that's the only movies I'll ever see him in is my guess. Because not a movie guy. Not a movie guy. Thor logo at the top. Love and Thunder, all that stuff. Then we get to the back. Of course, you got a blurb for Gore. You got the cross cell. We'll be talking about that later in the week, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, a lot of action adventure there. Warnings, UPCs, there it is. Let's get Gore out of here, but first let's read the back of the packaging. Wielding a strange and terrifying weapon, Gore will let nothing stand in his way. It looks just like a sword to me. I don't know what's so terrifying about it, but something tells me it has like crazy powers. Like it'll slice through everybody or, or wield some electricity or it'll do something zany, something more zany than a traditional sword. That's what my gut's telling me right here. That's what it's telling me. Always follow your gut. Always follow the see you later. Oh, we got a little warning thing. Spider-Man style. See you later. There it goes. Plastic prison. There he is. Gore looking like Lord, I almost said Lord Zed, but no. Uh, Alpha would be crying right here. He's sad. Zordon's on his dying dead bed, death bed. That's what he looks like to me. Looks like old Zordon. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, pull this magical sword out. Maybe. No extra hands. No extra accessories. See you later. Goodbye. Uh, we just get the two here. So Korg, we're going to build him later. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to like this Korg better than the old one. The old one wasn't terrible, but I have a feeling I'm going to like this one more. We'll see. Now we get down to this terrifying weapon. And man, I'm trembling as I speak this. I'm, I'm shaking. I'm so scared. 
Uh, not really, but you got some black, very blackness, very like burnt charcoal type on the blade of this one. It's like it's been in fire. Something tells me there's a story with this blade. It was thrown in a volcano, something like that. I just got that feeling. Nice silver there, but like I said, the whole top blade looks charcoal, like it's totally ruined. Then you get a nice leather brownish color handle on it. And then a little ball kind of at the end. So an interesting, uh, terrifying weapon is what this is. And we'll find out more in the movie, I'm sure. Then we get down to Gore himself. And Gore is an interesting one. Extremely tight joints on this. He definitely looks like Christian Bale. Uh, he looks like Zordon for sure from the Power Ranger movie. He also kind of has a mummy effect to him. And almost like an angelic effect. You know, he's got that whitish gray robe throughout I mean almost looking like a mummy wrapped up it's kind of stitching and uh, weird patterns to his face I mean he does kind of look like a mummy uh, and then he's got no f uh, shoes on of any kind he's got his bare feet going on which can be fun walking around ruins and stuff and bare feet uh, but then he's got a very dirty wash to his cape dirty wash to his outfit it is cape season Lando Calrissian will let us all know about that uh, but then you got dirtiness really on the edge frayed edges of the cape going on uh, limited articulation. Well, actually, I, we're going to run that back. He's got slits in the side of his skirt, as everybody loves a skirt back in the day. But you can get the legs out a little bit. You do have double-jointed knees, and you also have pinless knees, even though they are covered behind the skirt. Uh, that looks really good. You've got fairly loose ankles compared to the rest of his body. And he's got beautiful pajamas on. He's got a nice little uh, cupping effect down there at the very end. He's got bare arms because he apparently gets hot on his arms, but not his legs. He's got bare arms there. Once again, pinless joints, double jointed. Uh, you got a nice open hand, and then you got a holding hand here, so you can hold the sword, of course. And then this big cape could be removed. Whoa, you can't pop that off. It just pops right over his head there. So if you want him just looking like, I don't know what he looks like. He just looks like a, a poor guy back in the day, just a, a, a peasant in some scene. So maybe you get some reuse out of him. He could be gore, he could be a peasant somewhere, he could be a mummy, and he could be, of course, Zordon in your Power Ranger collection. So a lot of uses for this figure, apparently. Uh, it gets a little bit cleaner on the top. There's no dirt and grime, no dark wash to the top on here. Uh, but not terrible. Uh, it's interesting when you get a figure like this and you don't know anything about it. So you just your imagination runs wild. And that's kind of what it did when I'm just explaining it a little bit. But much more will be shown to us very soon. I'm sure once we see the trailer as of filming this video, we haven't even seen a trailer. I don't think we've even seen the official trailer for this movie yet. It's just crazy how this came out well upon uh, before Hasbro got to live announce this set. It's just very strange. But I said it in other videos, I absolutely love that because it brings back some of the fun of toy hunting. I'm walking into Walmart, I see a pallet of toys. Right on the top it says Marvel Legends Thor. I'm like, what the heck is this? Open it right up. Here's a whole brand new that I had no idea was hitting the store shelves. Uh, it just really brings back the passion for the toy hunt. And that's part of the fun, part of the challenge for me. Maybe you guys are the same way. Uh, if you've got a passion about toys, you love hunting them, you love finding them, you love opening them, you love reviewing them, you love displaying them. You get a lot of uses out of your toys if you're passionate and you really enjoy it. But I do understand some people saying, I hate toy hunting. I just want to find what I want to find. I get that, but... Uh, you cherish it and you enjoy it a lot bit more uh, when there's a little bit of work to it. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a crazy toy collector. Who knows? But Gore, I'm going to give him a pass. Maybe I'll like this even more once I see the movie. You never know. That does happen from time to time. Uh, it makes you love a character, loves you, makes you love a toy even more after you see it. He does fit on a ringside collectible stand. Uh, not very well, but he will fit on there if you are uh, in the in the process and want to do that. So there you go. But there it is. There's Valkyrie, King Valkyrie. I better put a little respect on her name, as they say. And then Gore. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. You picking? You passing? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video. You made it this far. Give it the old thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. You guys know we unbox all the Marvel Legends here. Wrestling figures, G.I. Joe, NECA. It goes on and on. Uh, make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss a video. And of course, later on this week, we're going to unbox the rest of the figures here, but we're also going to rank the wave from my least favorite to my favorite and build Korg. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, best way is the notification bell, as I always say. And then, of course, Patreon, where you can get these videos days, weeks, sometimes months ahead of traditional YouTube. And best of all, you support the channel. All kinds of giveaways, exclusives on there as well. Love to have you a part of the Patreon family. And then, of course, you can find me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peter. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. So for Gore and King Valkyrie, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.